The garden, which is helping to increase awareness of the disease, is sited outside the corporation's Media City Studios in Salford. After her death in 2019, Diane's husband Ian Hindo launched the Diane Oxbury Trust to educate people about the silent killer. And with BBC Breakfast host Sally Nugent, he launched the charity's beautiful space yesterday. Ian said it was incredibly moving and added, the outdoors is where Diane really thrived. The campaigner was also joined by Match of the Day pundit and former footballer Dion Dublin and regional BBC hosts Roger Johnson, Annabelle Tiffin and Eamon O'Neill. Ian added, We are really excited to be opening this special garden, not only as a beautiful space for people to reflect and remember both Diane and others whose lives have been affected by this disease but where we can continue to spread the word about its symptoms. Speed of diagnosis is key when it comes to better outcomes. We want people to know what to look out for so they can hopefully see their GP as soon as possible. Sally added, Diane was taken from us far too soon. I hope we can remind women to pay attention to the signs of ovarian cancer that can be easy to miss. The garden flowers are Florida Sunset Roses, launched in Diane's memory at the RHS Tadden Park Flower Show. Signs includes information about ovarian cancer and a QR code to the Spread the Word website. The disease mainly affects women over 50. Main symptoms include excessive bloating, stomach and pelvic pain, lack of appetite and a frequent need to urinate.